nice intro. Well, we all know how uh, important it is to yeah, make a good first impression. Well, especially on the web, uh, when creating experiences on the web, uh, it's important that uh, we make a good impression for our users. According to research, we have just five seconds to make uh, to grab the attention of our users. And uh, yeah, uh, how fast your website loads is definitely the most important. Uh, well, the best impression you can make. So, I'm Mike Reinhardt, I'm a web developer from the Netherlands, and I focus on uh, building a faster web that uh, works for everyone. So. Well, today there are uh, about 4 billion people connected uh, to the internet. And there are more and more coming every day. So it's really amazing uh, yeah, to, to know how much uh, power we have as, uh, yeah, uh, with WordPress that uh, enabling us to uh, yeah, build uh, almost uh, anything, anything we want to build. Uh, WordPress is giving us all these amazing features and plugins and themes. And actually it feels like uh, yeah, a kind of superpower being able to see how much uh, reach we have. WordPress now consumes 30% uh, of the whole internet, so that's quite amazing. If you think about yeah, all the websites out there, 30% is running on WordPress, so that's quite amazing. And if you look at around the web, there, there are huge sites that uh, are running WordPress, so for example, Mashable, uh, TechCrunch, uh, the Next Web. Go, list goes on and on. So here are just a few websites. Even the White House runs on WordPress using the same technology that yeah, us here use in the room. It's uh, used by yeah, these kinds of sites receiving millions of visitors. Obama is using WordPress, uh, and even James Bond is uh, on WordPress. So it's, uh, yeah, surprised to see every time, uh, yeah, how many sites uh, have WordPress installed. So you can also check on the, the WordPress uh, itself, they have a showcase of all the sites that uh, are being added every day, so uh, yeah, you can check it out. And, well, today I'm uh, really glad that uh, yeah, we came so far, it's the 15th anniversary and I'm really yeah, happy to be here. Uh, I think it's really cool that uh, WordCamp Belfast is yeah, one of the only WordCamps uh, today. The only, the only today. The in the world. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, so really amazing uh, yeah, to be part of it and uh, I've been using WordPress uh, yeah, almost from the beginning, so around 2006. And immediately I saw that yeah, the flexibility of WordPress, that it could be much, much more than just blogging. Because when I first started, I just started with a personal blog, putting up family pictures, but yeah, quickly I found out I could uh, use that as a full-blown CMS to build a company website. So, uh, yeah, WordPress is allowing us to do more and more. And, yeah, uh, by that uh, we are running in, into a common problem, and that is uh, WordPress, uh, about WordPress, and that's performance. So we often hear that uh, sites running WordPress, uh, yeah, they tend to load slow, because, yeah, we are loading uh, more and more assets. So. Uh, more research, uh, resources than other sites. So there are some reports out there that they say WordPress is slow compared to other sites. Well, I think, uh, yeah, we can definitely make WordPress a lot faster uh, just by tweaking, tweaking our sites with certain plugins and uh, yeah, to be uh, focusing on uh, performance. And yeah, by uh, with the community, 
of WordPress, we uh, definitely will be able uh, yeah, to do that. So what I will talk about today, uh, I will uh, yeah, give you a whirlwind world, world tour of performance. So I will talk about three main areas. And we will talk about, first about why performance matters. <laughs> According to uh, statistics, uh, yeah, nowadays almost half our web traffic coming to our websites is coming from a mobile device. And people are using mobile for everything these days. I can see here in the public yeah, people checking their phones. We cannot yeah, leave our phones like five seconds because yeah, we need to check what's going on. So and we are constantly searching on the internet through our mobile phones. And yeah, if I look at myself when I come home from work, I don't even look at my laptop anymore. I just take out my phone and start searching. According to a uh, recent report, uh, it was found out that 60, almost, uh, yeah, maybe 60 percent of online searches is coming from mobile. mobile. Uh, also, in my talk, in, the, in your talk, Ahmed, he also mentioned it. Uh, and on the SEO, it's also important to yeah, focus uh, your website uh, for mobile devices. So this data isn't, uh, isn't all noticed by Google. And uh, last month, they uh, rolled out a mobile-first index. For the first time, Google switched their uh, search index to a mobile-first index. So it's uh, still quite new, and yeah, they are uh, rolling it out uh, country by country. And uh, they will notify uh, web developers uh, about when, uh, when they uh, have, have been switched to the uh, mobile first index. So it's extremely important for, uh, for us that yeah, our website is mobile friendly and that it's accessible on a mobile device. Uh, yeah, we can save a lot of headache by just installing a mobile friendly team. So there are lots of a lot of teams out there today, and yeah, that's one of the advantages of, of WordPress that we can just switch uh, our complete site to a mobile site so with just yeah, a click of a button. <coughs> Another important uh, thing about um, the mobile first index is uh, performance, so Google is keeping on pushing us uh, yeah, that our site performs fast on mobile. So <coughs> speed is becoming more and more important uh, every day. <coughs> uh, there are many uh, reports out there, but uh, most importantly users expect the website to load uh, instantly. They just want access to information as fast as possible. They don't want to wait for a lo with a loading screen. Uh, yeah. According to uh, a report, 53% uh, of your mobile site visitors will leave your site if it, uh, if it takes three seconds or longer to load. So you could be losing half of your customers before they even see your site. So, uh, yeah, performance is uh, definitely an issue. <coughs> Today's fastest car, it's the, I don't know if anybody knows this car, but it's uh, the new uh, Roadster of Tesla. Elon Musk said it's the fastest car in the world, and it can, and it can go from zero to 60 in just, uh, yeah, in less than two seconds. Well, nowadays, most mobile sites aren't that fast. So the average load time of the mobile web is 15 seconds. So uh, that's far too slow if you consider that after three seconds, uh, yeah, people will just leave your site. Uh, well, this is my first visit to Belfast, and I was really uh, curious uh, yeah, to know more about it. And I, I think it's a, a beautiful city, but uh, before coming here, I definitely want to know more about Belfast, so I thought, let me search on Google what, what is there to see. And well, even Lonely Planet says Belfast is the best place to visit in 2018. Yeah. So, wow. 
Well, I thought my hometown was the best place. Because <laughs> 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 they are saying the same thing, right? <laughs> So uh, anyway, uh, I thought let me put Belfast to the test and see how fast is Belfast. So I just uh, loaded the website in uh, test my site, a tool from Google, and I think uh, yeah they have some work to do. Well, most importantly, they are not running WordPress, so <laughs> there might be an issue. So if anybody here is responsible or maybe they can help them switch over uh, well they have some work because their site is uh, on mobile 15 seconds and uh, they have this whole video loading in and already that is uh, just about 10 megabit 10 megabytes big so yeah, anybody on a 3g connection this will take forever to load <coughs> This is the total size, page size of uh, Belfast. Visit Belfast.com. Although it did say Belfast was the best place to come. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you say we we only paid them yeah. to keep it up there for a while. You did they want to fix it. Or that would Now, if they would improve uh, their site, it would definitely help to get, in, get more visitors <laughs> to their website and to Belfast. And it's a new site as well. Yeah. Uh, that, this is the new site. Yeah. Right. I think it, it looks really impressive. I really enjoy yeah. it. It has a great experience with great video and pictures. Yeah. But somehow they need to optimize it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Word, WordCamp uh, Belfast is doing much better. Just be, yeah, within three seconds. So uh, that's excellent. That's because Mark pedals very quickly. Oh, <laughs> he's doing a good job. He's not many pictures. <laughs> of more. <laughs> so when it comes to uh, the mobile web, uh, speed and size matters. Uh, the, the average uh, size of a web page, mobile web page today is uh, yeah, a little bit above, uh, around 3 megabytes. And it's uh, yeah, mainly caused by uh, images, JavaScript. Uh, so... <coughs> The, the, F, uh, the websites, yeah, it's getting big. Uh, the mobile web is getting bigger and bigger each year. And today, the file size uh, of the mobile web is roughly, well, basically the same and even more than the original uh, game of Doom. So, yeah, pages have grown into a blob of images and JavaScript and too many elements. And yeah, if you consider uh, Doom, it's a first-person shooter with 3D graphics, multiple levels, sound effects, and today we are yeah still struggling in putting putting out uh, a web page uh, with the same size. So it's quite amazing. Well, the good news is that uh, 4G is now. Uh, yeah, a global standard when it comes to uh, measuring your mobile speed. So it used to be 3G, so but nowadays uh, 4G is pretty much uh, covered uh, all over the world. So it helps us uh, to speed up our websites on mobile. <coughs> well, uh, user experience is not the only factor for uh, when it comes to uh, mobile speed. Uh, Google uh, has announced that they will be rolling out uh, yeah, the Google Speed update, which is coming uh, will be live in uh, July 2018. So they will take uh, page speed uh, as a ranking factor for uh, yeah, indexing your website. So we just have the whole GDPR thing now. We have to start worrying about uh, page speed. Yeah. Yeah, let's keep us busy. <laughs> no, they also uh, have a tool out there, it's called the Google Scorecard. So it helps you uh, compare your site, see how you stack up to uh, the competition. Uh, they recommend that your mobile website loads in uh, five seconds or less on a 3G device. 
So I did uh, some comparison of uh, the top websites running WordPress, and yeah, as you can see that uh, it is quite possible to uh, have your website uh, loading within five seconds. So and yeah, these are like websites that get millions of visitors, and they're a huge website. So it's not surprisingly that yeah, uh, speed is very important for them. And, because they load so fast, that's was probably also why they become so big. If you just look at Amazon and Google, so. uh, if you ever need to, uh, yeah, if you ever want to do performance work uh, to convince your uh, your team or your boss, uh, there's a web page a web page out there which is called uh, WPO Stats. So there are multiple case studies, uh, and it's updated frequently, uh, and there's uh, lots of nice case studies like uh, Pinterest, after doing uh, web performance, saw so 50 uh, 15 yeah, percent increase in SEO, more uh, engagement, conversions, uh, so Financial Times. Well, these uh, companies uh, all seem uh, seen uh, many benefits from uh, optimizing their websites. <coughs> so web performance is about uh, yeah, retaining users. Uh, the faster your site loads, uh, the longer people will stay on your site. It's web performance is about user experience. Uh, it's about conversions. The, fa the faster your site loads, uh, it will give uh, our users more trust and it will make them uh, yeah, easier to buy something on your site. But most importantly, web performance is about people because yeah, we want to help people to find answers to their questions as fast as possible. So now that we talked about uh, why uh, performance is so important, I will continue with uh, web performance management because uh, in my mind uh, web performance is measurement and so I don't know it doesn't make sense I mean before you start improving something you need to know yeah where you stand so uh, there are many tools uh, out there that you can use and so um, I just to name a few, uh, there are literally, I think, hundreds of tools that you can use. Uh, well, one is the team of PHP Insights tool from Google, you have GT Metrics, uh, Pingdom tools, uh, also popular around the, the WordPress community, you have Web Page Test, uh, Chrome Developer Tools, Lighthouse. Some of the tools were also mentioned in some of the other talks uh, this weekend. I guess you are familiar with some of them. So I'm not going to detail of every tool, but I uh, will just show some screenshots so, yeah, what I uh, what I like about them. Uh, Web page test is uh, yeah actually the the standard for measuring uh, performance. It gives uh, a lot of detailed information. Um, one of the uh, metric I like is the, the speed index. The speed index tells uh, how fast your uh, website is showing, uh, how fast the content of your website is showing to the user. So it's really giving a, yeah, a user experience kind of metric for your website. Uh, you want to keep this as low as possible, and for mobile, uh, yeah, you want to be below uh, three, uh, three seconds, not three seconds, three, three. Yeah, they, uh, on the web page test, they uh, talk in milliseconds, but uh, you can say three seconds. <laughs> web page test has uh, some other cool features, so we have the, the waterfall view. The waterfall view is how your site loads all the content when it's uh, when you access the site. Uh, when looking at the waterfall view, uh, you want to focus on the yeah long horizontal bar, the <coughs> bars. 
the shorter the better. So we want them want to keep them as short as possible. So if you do performance work, you want to focus on the long bars and see how you can optimize it. Because the longer the bar, the longer the load time is. Also, uh, it will show some color, colorful bars. So you have yellow in this case, but you also have red. Uh, yellow is for third uh, party scripts. Red is for uh, scripts that cannot be found or files that for, for error. Well, all these figures and numbers, uh, yeah, they're actually telling half of the story because it doesn't say anything, yeah, what, what the user sees. So then another neat feature of web-based test is the film strip view, which actually shows, uh, yeah, what the user sees. And uh, yeah, you can do some comparison uh, when optimizing your website. You can compare before and after. So there are some hacks that you can use. And so performance. Uh, there are lots of metrics involved. I uh, listed here a few, and with the recommended uh, sizes <coughs> and load times. Uh, there are many more. Uh, I wish I could say that you should focus on one certain metric, but yeah, it really comes down to yeah, what you're after. Uh, it's, uh, for me, uh, I, for me, the most important element is like when my uh, hero image comes into the picture and call to action. So, and you can also nowadays set timestamps uh, when. Your image is shown and when the call to action button is there. So, so you really have to figure out uh, what you're after and uh, focus on that to improve it. Well, all these me uh, metrics, uh, manual testing, and uh, yeah, you can do, but it takes a lot of time. So, an easier way is to uh, automate uh, testing. Uh, there are many services out there that you can run automatic tests every day and uh, see how your site is doing. By doing it, uh, by automating it, you can set uh, budgets. And by doing that, you're basically uh, setting a performance budget. So if you could say uh, my budget for total page size is uh, 1.5 megabytes and your site uh, goes over that, you'll be automatically uh, alerted that, hey, your page size has increased, uh, go and check it out. So that helps to uh, keep our website uh, performant. So how fast a website loads? I mean, how fast is fast enough? Well, for, for personally, I look at uh, my competition. I want to know how fast uh, the competition loads. So uh, I'm using Speedcurve. They have a nice feature that you can benchmark your website compared to other websites. So and if somebody is faster than me, I want to know yeah, why are they faster? Are they loading more resources or less resources? So that keeps you uh, on, on top of the competition because at the end, how faster your website loads, uh, the better your ranking will be in performance, in user experience, and so on. So now that we talk about measurements and find out the, the bottlenecks uh, and what and know what we need to fix, uh, I want to go over some web, web performance tips and tricks, what you can do today. Uh, for that, I will be using uh, one of my own sites. Um, well, I, what, what I already told you, I started blogging 2006, and since then I, I built so many sites. And but what I like is really about uh, building uh, travel blogs. So I built many travel blogs about yeah, from all, all around the world. I'm really always uh, yeah, interesting to find out uh, yeah, new things in cities and to write about it. And, and one of the travel blogs uh, I own is the Miami Tourist Guide. Uh, I'm also on uh, Instagram. 
I really, I really enjoy our, uh, Miami. I go there like once a year. And the best thing about having a travel blog that becomes po popular, you get uh, free food and tickets to go anywhere. <laughs> 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 so I'll be using uh, my website as a case study here, what I did to uh, optimize it and to upgrade to the competition. So a little bit while back, I tested it on the uh, test my sites, how fast it is performing. There are many tools out there. Well, there are a lot of advanced tools out there that you can use to give more detailed information. But what I like about test my site is that these tools will be actually used uh, be used by uh, you know, your customer or your boss, because and they will be coming to you with uh, figures in red saying, "Hey, why is my site not performing?" So definitely check out uh, your website on this tool, because. Uh, if you don't, your customer or possible. But uh, I checked my site. I it was loading in seven seconds, so that was not yeah, it was average. So uh, I decided to optimize it. Well, the first thing uh, when it comes to performance is uh, hosting. Uh, when looking for hosting, you want to make sure you have SSL, HTTP, HTTP2, PHP7, and also you might want to consider a, a CDN so that it's accessible from all around the world as fast as possible. I won't go into too much detail, uh, but PHP7 is uh, yeah, definitely will make your website uh, much faster, and uh, reports have shown it can make your website almost twice as fast. Uh, most of the performance work is, is done in the front end because yeah, that's where most of the uh, elements are loaded. And you have all your images, HTML, JavaScript. Yeah, when we think about performance, uh, yeah, there's almost nothing that we can leave out because we don't want that. So, but when it comes to images, yeah, we definitely can uh, improve a lot. 25% of a website uh, could save 250 kilobytes in images alone. There are many ways to uh, check how, uh, what needs, which image needs to be optimized. So the different tools will show uh, by colors, uh, page speed insights. They will give a list of images, and you can even immediately download the optimized images and upload them again to your site. I think I'll skip the image optimization uh, slides because Abba talked so much about images. Uh, there's a, a great guide on the web uh, by uh, one of the Google developers, Adi Osami. Uh, he has uh, a great tips how to optimize and which image you, format you should use. There are also many plugins. Uh, to optimize images, but yeah, when it comes to plugins, uh, yeah, there are so many plugins out there, and it makes you uh, think, yeah, which plugins should I use? So um, I've been reading a lot uh, about uh, Google is hiring web developers from uh, WordPress, and they are busy, uh, yeah, with a new project called Tides, which is going to help. Uh, WordPress users how to make better choices when it comes to plugins and themes. So in order to have our website more performant, reliable and uh, secure. So when, when you'll be searching for plugins, it will, they will have, they're thinking about adding an extra score. <coughs> it could be the tight score, but it will basically tell you if the plugin is uh, reliable or not and if it will affect your uh, load time. So a plugin I uh, use is Image uh, Optimizer. Uh, right now I just check how many times the plugin has been downloaded and look at reviews and if it is up to date. You can also do it manually. Uh, I use Image Optin on the Mac. Uh, you can use yeah save a lot of uh, file size with it. 
Um, okay, so we talked about how many minutes do I have left? Do I have anything left? It'll be yeah, four minutes. All right. Okay. Uh, when people complain that uh, your website or their website is slow, one of the first things to check is uh, time to first byte. You can see this actually right in your uh, browser when you go to, uh, I don't know if you're all using Chrome, but in Chrome you have uh, the Chrome uh, developer tools just by pressing command, uh, command option Y. Um, you can go to the network tab and from the timing tab you uh, can see the time to first byte. Uh, for mobile you want to keep that below 200 milliseconds. When, uh, when you set up a website, uh, it will basically look something like this out of the box. So you have a lot of white space uh, in your source code. So if you view, view the source code of your web page, it's not optimized. So what we want to do, we want to uh, minify our code, compress it, combine it as much as possible. And there are many tools out there, plugins that can help us with that. One of the most popular one is W Super Cache and W3 Total Cache. It, they will basically turn your dynamic contents into static content, so that it will decrease the response time of your of your website. Uh, there's another plugin called Auto Optimize, uh, which will help you to combine all the scripts, so that it will be the total packs will become <coughs> much smaller. So when you have everything optimized, uh, your website will, your source, source codes will be looking something like this. It's all compi uh, compiled into uh, really a minified uh, source code. Uh, another thing you want to be checking is, uh, well, what when optimizing my website, I had to get it down from seven seconds to yeah, five or three uh, is uh, the number of uh, service requests. So when I check my sites, I still have like yeah, 34 requests and almost 1.5 megabyte of file size. <laughs> so I like to travel light and uh, yeah, it would be great if we wouldn't have to load everything uh, on our web page that we don't need. Because uh, when we install a plugin, there are some pages that uh, that plugin is not used. Like if we have a contact form that is only used on the contact page, we don't need it on the home page. So uh, I found this plugin, plugin load filter. Plugin load filter basically lets you uh, set where you want to load uh, which plugin so that you don't uh, load unnecessary resources on pages that you, know, you don't use uh, these kind of features and you can just set it uh, per page and per plugin uh, where you want what um, yeah this shows uh, but also a screen from screen uh, speed curve which shows uh, yeah, before and after optimizing your site, what kind of impact the optimization has made, so that you know uh, yeah, if your work has any, has any impact. So after doing all these, all these things, I was able to uh, improve my site by two seconds. So yeah, for me, it was good enough to have it in the green and to be faster for the competition. Um, also suggest that you use check that on uh, multiple multiple uh, tools uh, that uh, your site is performing. I, I don't go for a hundred percent, and I think you shouldn't waste your time uh, getting that hundred percent as as long as it is uh, yeah within the green, and it's fine. Well, there's more to life than increasing its speed. Um, yeah, you could either just leave your site like that and. Yeah, join the slow web movement. <laughs> or if you're still struggling, uh, yeah, increasing your website speed, uh, you could consider M, uh, 
uh, I don't know. I don't know. If, yeah, probably it will split the room in two because mm -hmm. they all know that people uh, are against and uh, they don't want to give all their control to Google. Uh, I was uh, at an AMP conference at the beginning this year, got invited by Google, and I was really surprised by all the new features coming out. Uh, I've implemented AMP on my site, and when I first started, yeah, I was only able to create a very basic base, but nowadays uh, companies have built complete, complete full-blown AMP pages that, can, that you can hardly tell the difference between uh, a normal website and an end page. So, and an end page, uh, yeah, loads instantly. It's like less than uh, within a second. So, especially for mobile, that's perfect. There are several plugins for that as well. The uh, most uh, popular one is uh, Amp for WordPress, built by Automatic. Uh, it will enable you to, uh, yeah, make your website. Uh, and so, um, yeah, when it comes uh, to WordPress, I really believe that um, yeah, with the power of yeah, the WordPress community and optimizing our websites up to speed, it, we can really uh, grow our WordPress much, much further and be running uh, yeah, WordPress uh, even further, like 50% of the whole web. So, uh, yeah, I want you uh, just start optimizing your site to today, and you can never start uh, soon enough. I have a free guide uh, on my website to help you uh, further improve your websites. And yeah, I would be happy to uh, be friends. I'm on social media almost everywhere under my Twitter handle, uh, same name on all platforms. Well, that's my talk. And Thank you for uh, joining me today.